Hello everyone and welcome back to my part two of the Simplicity Pattern 8444 for the underskirt. This will be the last piece that is part of this pattern, but just like the blouse, you can really use this for any dress that you make that you want to have an underskirt for. And this is simple enough to where it's easy to change colors and patterns to fit your personal project. I'm just gonna go with a basic white to match the blouse, but maybe in the future I will use this underskirt again and kind of change up the look for a different project. It's actually a pretty simple pattern to put together. From now on I will be leaving my measurements down below for any type of clothing projects. And hopefully that just gives you a little bit more of a reference when choosing your size. So my underskirt will be made in a size 18. The few pattern pieces that we're gonna need are numbers 30 to 35. So as always, our first step is going to be to cut out our pattern pieces. And all six pieces are gonna be cut on a fold. So just be aware when placing your pattern piece and laying out your fabric that in the end, once you cut it out, you should only have one piece and not two. When you get to the underskirt front and back, you will be cutting out three of these. Once all your pieces are cut out, go ahead and mark all your dots and notches for each piece. And for one of your underskirt pieces, you're going to take one to be the front and you're going to mark the guides for the ruffles all the way across the front. It's not stated in the pattern, but I want to make sure that I don't have any fraying. So I'm going to serge or you can zigzag stitch the edges of the skirt front and back. And do this for all three pieces. So we're going to take one back skirt piece and then you're going to grab the second back skirt piece and lay it right over top with right sides facing together. I'm going to pin up one side and we're going to sew this side together with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Taking an iron, I'm going to iron open that seam. Going to the bottom edge of our skirt pieces, you're going to fold over the bottom edge 3 inches and iron it down all the way across. Do this to the front piece as well. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to sew it down with a 1 16th inch seam allowance. Going back to that bottom edge, we're going to fold it over another 3 8 inches on both the back piece and the front piece. And we're going to sew this down with a 3 8 inch seam allowance or just before the edge. Taking the underskirt ruffle pieces, we're going to do the same thing by hemming the bottom edge. So you're going to fold up that bottom edge 3 8 inches and iron it down. Then we'll sew it with a 1 16th inch seam allowance. Going back and folding it over again another 3 8 inches. And then sewing that down with another 3 8 inch seam allowance or just before the edge. And you want to do this to all four ruffles. We are then going to add a base stitch to the top edge of each ruffle. Starting with a 3 to 4 inch tail of thread, we're going to sew our first base stitch at a 1 16th inch seam allowance. Make sure to leave another 3 to 4 inch tail of thread at the end. Then we're going to do the same thing but at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. We're going to start gathering each ruffle so you want to grab the top two threads and pulling gently you're going to start to gather that top edge. Do this to all four ruffles. Then I'm going to go back and serge or zigzag stitch those edges of each ruffle once again to prevent from fraying. Starting with the fourth ruffle, I'm going to line it up with that bottom guideline, lining up the small dots with the small dot. And I'm going to pin these edges down. Mm -hmm. 
Next up will be your third ruffle, lining it up the same way with the small dots. Then your second ruffle, continuing the same thing. And then the first ruffle is going to line up with that top edge of your skirt piece. Now that it's all pinned up, I'm going to go back and distribute the gathers evenly on each ruffle. We're going to sew each ruffle down, lining up the second seam on your ruffle with the pattern guideline. Line up the edges of each ruffle with the edge of the skirt and pin this down so that it stays in place. Do this for both sides. We're going to sew this down with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Taking the back skirt piece and right sides together, line up the edges and pin them down on both sides. We're going to sew these together with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. We're going to start working on our waistband piece. So taking the edge, we're going to fold it over 0.25 inches and iron it down. Then fold it over another 0.25 inches and iron that down as well. And then do this to the other end. Oh. 
We're going to sew this with a 1 16th inch seam allowance. Grabbing our underskirt along with our waistband, we're going to fold the waistband in half and you want to make sure when we fold our waistband in half that the fold should be on the inside. Starting a half inch away from that back seam, you're going to line up the raw edges of the waistband with the raw edge of your skirt. And we're going to pin this all the way around. And the other end should stop about a half inch before that back seam as well. We're going to sew this on with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. I'm going to serge or zigzag stitch that raw edge of the seam allowance. Tuck the seam allowance into our skirt and we're going to iron this down so that it permanently stays nice and neatly tucked in. Taking the twill tape and a safety pin, you're going to add the safety pin to one end of the tape. This is what's going to help us push our twill tape through our casing. Insert the safety pin and go ahead and push it all the way through till it comes out the other end. This last part, if you have made the overskirt, we're going to add some hooks and eyes so that the underskirt stays tucked nicely under the overskirt. So with the jump skirt from the same pattern, I'm going to line up my hook with that first seam in the bodice. And I'm going to take a needle and thread and sew this on by hand. Do this to the other side as well. Taking the underskirt, I'm going to find the center. And make a little mark. And then taking the front bodice of my overskirt, I'm going to find the center there as well. Line up the centers. And then you can kind of eye where the hooks have been placed and then you can make a mark for where you're going to put the eyes. Same thing, I'm going to sew both eyes on by hand.
And that is basically it. And you now have a completed underskirt. This is pretty quick and simple to make and only requires a couple pieces. And I would definitely think that a beginner can put this together quite easily. It just repeats a lot of basic sewing techniques. It does give a little bit of volume to the overskirt when I wear it. But since the ruffles are just in the front, it makes that underskirt not very heavy, which I like a lot because if you're doing Lolita, you have a lot of layers that you're going to be working with. So this is a great way to get that look without all the fabric. I hope you liked watching me put this whole pattern together. I will leave links down below for the other videos that I've done with the blouse and the overskirt for this pattern. And I will also leave the petticoat down below as well. So thank you all for watching and I have more videos coming soon. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Bye!